In these problems, we're doing some more work with the law of sines. But now we have two sides and an angle. And you might remember from geometry that there are certain combinations of sides and angles which uh, are enough to, to prove a triangle is congruent. Remember those theories, side, angle, side, angle, side, angle, etc. Well, when you have um, two sides and an angle that's not between them, that actually was not enough to prove the congruence of a triangle. And the reason is there are two possible triangles that could have one angle of 27 degrees and one side of 9 and one side of 10. Another way to think about that, this is that the sine, let me bring out the unit circle here. If you look at this, you know, to solve this using the law of sines, we would have to take the sine of um, something at some point. And what you'll see in the first quadrant, so here's uh, 30 degrees, the sine of that is one half. But there's another value of degrees where the sine is a positive one half. And that's over here in the second quadrant. So this angle 150 also uh, is a solution to a sine of one half. What that means in these cases is that we have to look at, if we get an answer of 30 degrees, we have to find the corresponding angle over here. The way you do that is just subtract this value from 180. So 30 corresponds to 150, 45 corresponds to 135, 60 corresponds to 120. So we're just subtracting this value from 180 to get the other possible angle. Let's see how this works in a problem. So this one says solve the triangles A equals 9, B equals 10, and uh, the angle A is 27 degrees. So we can set this up with the law of sines. Whoops, 9, yeah, 9 over the sine of 27 degrees equals 10 over the sine of B, and that equals C over the sine of C. We don't know either of those values yet, but we'll find them out. So first we're going to find this value, and then we can solve for uh, B. So let's try that. So we've got 9 divided by 27 sine, and that's giving us 19.82, let's call it. We can set that equal to 10 over the sine of B, and if you rearrange this, you would get sine of B is 10 divided by 19.82. So we'll, so we'll try that out on the calculator. And then we'll take the inverse sine to get the value of B. And we get 30.29 here. So one value of B is 30.29 degrees. But there's another possible value of B here, and what we need to do is subtract that from 180 to get that possible value, and that of course is going to be 149.71. So there we have our two possible values of B. What this means is that there, of course there are two different possible values for C, and we can find those simply by subtracting this plus, the sin uh, plus 27 from 180 and this plus 27 from 180. So let's go ahead and do that. So in this case, C could equal either 122.71 or 3.29. So now we have all the angles of two possible triangles. So 27, 30, and 122, or 27, 149, and 3. Now the only thing we don't have yet is uh, the length of side C. And um, there are two possible values for that because we've got two different triangles here. So let's go ahead and try to calculate that. We've got uh, this number here, 19.82, equals C over, well, we'll try sine of 122.71, and we'll also do the same thing for the other angle, 3.29. So we'll calculate both of those, and what we get when we punch those through we get C equals 16.68 and C equals 1.14. So we've solved the triangles, two of them, uh, using this law of science with an ambiguous case. Let's try one more of these. In this one, we're just trying to find the possible lengths of C. And we're given, again, two sides and an angle. So we'll set this up. We've got 11 over the sine of 19 degrees, that's side A over angle A. And we've got 12 over the sine of B, and we've got C over the sine of C. 
we have to go through the same process here. Even though they're only asking for the lengths of C, we've got to go ahead and find the two possible angles of B, uh, subtract to find the formula 180 to find the two possible angles of C, and then solve for the sides. So let's go ahead and do this. We'll start with 11 divided by the sine of 19. And that is 33.79, let's say. And then we'll solve for B here and then find the other possible angle. So that would be, rearranging this, the sine of B would be 12 divided by 33.79. What we get here is B equals 20.8 degrees. And of course, we'll subtract from 180 to get the other possible angle, or B equals 159.2. So those are the two possible angles for B. Now we can figure out our two possible angles for C. So that would be 140.2 and 1.8. Now we can use these angles in this uh, ratio, and so we'll set 33.79 equal to C over the sine of 1.8 and 33.79 equal to C over the sine of 140.2 and we'll solve for C and that would give us a value of C value for C of 1.06 or a value of 21.6 so that's a little bit of work with the law of science and ambiguous cases